Welcome to this course, How to Declutter Your Bedroom, and thank you for purchasing it. You are going to love this course, and I love having you on board. We've got a lot to squeeze in. But first, I want to thank the over 100 of you that helped me design this course. I'm really excited about the content, and your input helped me ensure that this course covers everything you need to know to completely declutter and organise your bedroom. So thank you. Thank you for choosing to watch this lecture. I know it's tempting to jump ahead to the How to Declutter section. I highly recommend that you do this course in the order in which I've designed it. And in this lecture, I talk you through the structure and content of the course so that you know what to expect. A mistake which I see people who have clutter make time and again is to reach a point where they just can't stand it anymore and have a ruthless blitz, which results in them throwing away stuff which they later regret, feeling worn out and exhausted and often not making a visible or lasting difference. To make a significant and long-lasting difference to your bedroom, you need to do a little bit of groundwork. Setting your goals, getting real about how the room is now, and creating the time to transform it. So we're going to cover that in section two. Before that, in this section, we're going to look at what is and isn't clutter, why your bedroom might get so cluttered, and the seven reasons why you must declutter and organise it. In section three, I'll help you decide where to start. I'll show you my foolproof 10-step process for effective decluttering. And we'll look at how to declutter specific items that you're likely to find in the bedroom. So that's clothes, including laundry, shoes, bags and jewellery, cosmetics and toiletries. In section four, we'll talk about what you need to know to effectively organise your bedroom and those items so that it stays tidy and clutter-free. This includes some great storage ideas. Now, you might be tempted to start there. When clients make contact with me, they often say that the issue is that they haven't got a very big house or flat and what they need is advice on what storage to buy and some nifty clever storage ideas. It's certainly true that clever storage can make life easier. Helping you to store all your stuff neatly and tidily, keeping it dust free and making it easily accessible. And we will talk about that in this course. But storage is never the solution to clutter. I guarantee that if you solve your clutter problem with storage, the problem will return. Storage attracts stuff. Over time, you will fill that storage until you've got the same problem again and you need more storage. The only solution is to declutter. Once you've got rid of what you no longer want or need, and you've re-familiarised yourself with what you've got, you might find you don't need more storage. And if you do, you'll be in a better position to choose storage that meets your needs. In section five, we'll look at what's next, how to stop the clutter creeping back, and how to get in touch with me if you want more support once you've finished the course. To get full value from the course as you go through the lectures, don't miss the resources. Whenever there are resources associated with the lecture, you'll see a blue box in the corner of the screen with resources available in it. When you see that box, click the three horizontal lines in the top left-hand corner to access the resources. As you go through the lectures and resources, you'll naturally have questions and comments. When you do, please post them directly into the lecture you're in. This is how you do it. Click the Browse Q&A button below the lecture you're in and simply post right there. So let's get started. And we can't do that unless we know what we're talking about. So in the next lecture, I share with you my definition of clutter.